What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a, another quick video. This one, I really am going to make it quick. I promise. I always say that. And then it's like 30 minutes later and everybody laughs at me. But um, I've had a lot of people <clears throat> I've seen here and there commenting about these RC four wheel drive competition bead locks. Um, a lot of the times people just want to know what they are because they are, in my opinion, one of the coolest looking wheels. Um, I kind of wish they didn't have the RC four wheel drive on here. Um, maybe just more screws around that bead would have looked really cool, but they still are probably my favorite looking set of wheels. I would say, I don't know. These race lines are, are pretty wicked looking too. And then there's so many good choices. You, you can't hardly beat the stamp steel bead lock. This one is mounted with the hex on backwards. You can see to where it's got the deep dish look. I really like that. Um, or you can just mount them, you know, straight up. But the issue with these competition bead locks, as you can see here, and I did not loosen this. I just was running it. Coming loose a little bit. <clears throat> and some of that is the, you don't have much threads here when you get them on, right? So if you don't know, these <clears throat> mount straight to the pin in the axle and it don't really fit very well is the issue if I can get this in here you can see it I don't know it just it don't seem like it fits very well it's always kind of loose and so it's kind of an issue and um, you know a lot of people have been asking what could we do about it and I always recommend these. These are from Kinetic KMS on eBay. Same ones that make the um, millstone weights and stuff. And what this does is this snaps on your hex and then it gives you this pin that is shaped exactly like this wheel here. So it's a tight fit. You can see that snap almost kind of like snapped in there. And it makes that a better fit. It's going to widen it a, a tiny bit, which I'm fine with. So it's going to slip on just like that. Oops. If I can line it up. So it's going to widen it a little bit, which is cool. I don't mind extra width on this rig. I'm not running much weight on this thing. Try to keep it fairly light, but it's going to help the issue with hardly any threads showing there. That's really the main thing because it seems like with these wheels, for some reason, there's just like no thread there. And I've had a few people say, you know, there's no thread there. What do I do? Really, this is probably the best solution. And so it's going to run this millstone type uh, wheel nut All right so I guess you have to drill this wheel out just like all of the others the stamp steel bead locks you have to drill them to use these as well um, we got some of the trill wheels they actually fit those some kinetics they actually fit their wheels they're better huh the Rage, RC four-wheel drive Rage, they fit those. So I'm going to drill this out a little bit, and then we'll slap this dude on. Okay, so I drilled this hole out with an eighth-inch bit, and that lets the barrel nut slip right through it. So now we'll just mount this up. So, quite a bit easier than trying to get these wheel nuts started. You can see this wheel nut here. Barely catching any threads. I can put this Allen head in the end of it here. So, it's barely catching any threads. 
whereas that's on there good so actually it looks pretty good with that on there too I think so much easier and hopefully will stay tight better and I feel like they fit on there a little better than just straight to the pin sometimes these wheels would be kind of wobbly I think it's just because it was on that pin that wasn't super a real great fit we'll find out but I'd seen a lot of people asking what to do about these being loose coming loose couple people contacted me about not having enough threads to get the, the wheel nut started and I advised them to order this set here and I actually had never ordered it for myself I knew it was the solution I just hadn't ordered one yet so I went ahead and ordered it and I just got them in and I wanted to kind of show them off so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these that way this thing is hooked up and then maybe we'll do a look at some wheels coming up again I have these are the trills I ordered two sets of the new trill if you haven't seen those I think they look much better than these I'm not a very big fan of the look of these but I gotta say this is the easiest bead lock I've put together definitely the easiest so far now I've seen a couple of people say that they didn't hold I don't know I haven't tested this I just got these today as well um, I went ahead and bought a set just to, so I could test them out like I said I'm not real big on the looks didn't even need them but I'm always buying stuff to test for you guys so <laughs> let me know what you think of these these are the kinetic KMS one of their sets of wheels super nice fairly simple to mount up I haven't even finished this one you can see but it's 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 on there good and holding good they're vented as well a tiny little hole right there could be because I don't have these screws in it's doing that but I, I'm pretty sure those are vented I haven't finished those up and then I have all the stamp steel bead locks and the um, race lines RC4 Drive Rage. I gotta pull this one apart. It's it's slipping a bit. So you might see what the mud slingers look like on these. Maybe it'll make me decide to keep them. I don't know. But anyways, I wanted to do a quick video on this set from Kinetic KMS. Like I said, you can use the overweight with it also. So if you need the weight, that's cool too because it's not really weights. For these wheels specifically I don't think I've really tried any weights in these honestly because I didn't want any weight on this rig let's just see those won't work these are for stocks so those those do fit little dab of silicone or glue I'll hold that in there so if you want the weight these are for the stock these are full send rc.com weights for the stock SEX 24 wheels um, if you go to full send RC don't forget use the discount code 2FMRC you get 15% off your order so definitely use that code and those will work so if you have these wheels and you want to run that you could do that I believe you could even do this for more weight if you wanted to possibly I don't know if there would be I don't think there's gonna be any rubbing there that would be one I would probably run a little bit and see to make sure you didn't get any uh, it don't seem like that's going to bind or rub at all so you could double up your weights there get twice as much weight if you wanted to so that's pretty cool it all kind of works together with these wheels that's that's pretty sweet you can definitely do that so if you're looking for more weight full send rc and kinetic um, both of these companies have been super awesome to me 
And um, just anytime I've had an issue, it's like they answer immediately and just super helpful. Definitely check both of them out. I'll put a link in the description to both of them. I'll put a link to these wheels in there. Maybe I'll put a link to all these wheels I've shown just so you know what they are. And I'm sorry I keep rambling on. I said this is going to be a short video, but just info, info. So if you have any questions, hit me up. Got a lot coming up. Going to be hopefully doing some servos. And then, I don't know, all kinds of stuff going on. I've got to put a new motor in my Jeep, new servo in my Jeep. It's just rough shape right now. So it needs some love. I got to get to work on that. And so much I want to do. But anyways, I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit the bell so you know when I'm posting these videos. And let me know what you want to see next. Appreciate everybody. Peace.